What's going down, techies and techettes? Today we're going to be looking at NVIDIA's brand new driver. 471.68 is among us. And we'll be breaking down what they have been supplied. My name is Mac here at the McGavick 7 channel. And today we'll be looking at patch notes and some benchmarks and sizing up performance on what is going down. To scroll into it, we're going to look at what there are the highlights. Now, it starts off with that there's a lots of fixes. And you can see that the game ready driver provides support for the blade point, which was utilizing the NVIDIA DLSS alongside the Rayflex to boost the performance of 60% they are boasting at 4K. You can make more competitive through the portions and reduce of the system latency. In addition, you can also provide some of the optimized ports of back for blood and beta, which is pretty cool because that's a, you know, sequel to something pretty BA alongside Psychonauts 2, which is also something really cool because I've been waiting for that game for quite some time, included inside of the 7 and G-Sync compatibility for display case. Yes. A lot of cool stuff is cooking in the nice frontier of gaming. In the applications in August, you can see that the Studio Driver provides a optimal support for the latest creative applications, including some of their portions of AI in the 3.2. On top of the creator's 3.4.3. Um, you can see that there's gonna be some other follow-ups that come into it. There are some new portions of G-Sync inside of the display screens for oh in the aoc department you have the ag27s coming down to two variations asus also gets a playlist from the vg and bg series and then lonevo also comes down to the g24 on top of the msi and the g25 and view sonic into the xg32 new features that come across it is that is support for the most smallest nice portion of the a2000 series for what you, most game creators would not really be dabbling into this is more for like workstations and more of a refined space because it's offering probably one of their more i guess cheaper alternatives to entering inside of there now that in general, moving on towards where we can see where the studio fixes come into it, Batman Arkham Knights finally gets down to the smoke when it's crashing, Hitman comes down to the random flickers inside of V-Sync, Monster Hunter World in the world display and the glitches in the extension of the gameplay, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, drops in frame rates inside of the gameplay and running inside of benchmarks. Also on top of there you have the AI enhance for the Topaz. And you can see that the TDR error comes into the, the no more. On top of the D5 rendering inside of the black corruption overlays and the DLSS is on. And the artifacting portion for the desktop when the SDR deep coloring. On top of that for as far as the PLA benchmark inside of physics, the NVIDIA GPU is not utilized inside of physics when running benchmarks. Now looking at some of the important open issues you can see is dwindling down where they actually have some stuff where the video playback is still an issue. Tom Clancy and artifacts inside of Sonic All Racers. You have some of the portion of the crashing and certain portions through water. And DPC latency is high when color mode is inside of the 8-bit mode. So, with that, on top of the unable to detect some of the support for the Samsung Odyssey G9 displays, that rounds up our patch notes. With knowing that there's tons of fixes and in the horizon of them adding more architecture to a nice workstation and compact portions of technology getting better, we can see that Port Royale comes into a nice rounded portion of TensorCore performance. But looking at what's going down is that on the bottom and the right, you're going to have the brand new driver with the hardware accelerator off and the hardware accelerator on on the very top. So we have the 471.68 to the right and 
or one to the left. So we're just sizing up six, eight against four, one hardware accelerator off and on on the bottom versus the top. As you can see that the old driver definitely takes a nice coupling point with the brand new windows update. I know I've always noticed that with Nvidia utilizing like waiting a little bit before updating like the driver sometimes with performance you can get it really dialed in with Windows doing circumvents right around the same time that they do uh, performance packs for drivers. Now with this situation if you are experiencing it with certain games you can always toggle off and on because you can see that definitely the non-winning factor on the newer driver is the hardware accelerator on. So let's go ahead and take a look at Fire Strike with DirectX 11. This is where you can see that even though it's a draw between the 72 percentile, that the old driver yet again takes a little bit of the show for point wise for graphics with accelerating in the 7k boundary where a lot of the other ones float now if you look at the very bottom with the hardware accelerator off yet again it shows the same thing so 4k with ray tracing it seems like with the hardware accelerator off with your newer driver if you are trying to fix a lot of what's going down which was talked in the beginning of the patch notes or if you have nothing to do with that and you're like hey there's performance and you want to go back to the hardware accelerator on with the old driver and make sure to ddu i will have some videos at the very end that you can utilize in order to take advantage of a clean start inside of a install with moving to the next stage with extreme on fire strike you can see right here where yet again it shows the same benefactors where both your hardware accelerator on with the old driver and off with the newer driver are going to be your best options now the in between is there's going to be certain titles make sure you always toggle off and on the hardware accelerator just to see if it is just that select title not me meeting a standard or having a nice update to couple with it but moving on past that where the percentiles really aren't breaking past the 81 this is where you see some nice room improvement for as far as the hardware accelerator on or the newer driver as where you can see the older one definitely does take a little bit of a dip but nothing super crazy you can always have your hardware accelerator off and it definitely gives a nice contender because when you look at the graphics score that's actually where it's at the hardware accelerator off with the newer and or older driver almost match comparatively where you see that the newer driver and older driver are basically balancing in like limbo between like performance. Now DirectX 12 is on the plate and you can see the huge reduction that ends up happening for the fixes that they give us inside of this driver. Now when you look at the actual scores it's roughly about 300 and they're pull back now with the hardware accelerator off you can get your points back but it's nothing super crazy because it stays within the 60 percentile now we're looking at just 1080p and the slab of what is going to chisel hopefully a better driver which is the older driver as you can see right over there that the percentage wise yes is about the same until you get to the old one with the hardware accelerator off and you can definitely see that it gets a little bit more of a jump up but that's only in certain areas as you can see it's just coupling performance versus where you can see on the very top that we are basically seeing the same thing older driver wins 89 percent versus the 84 percent in the reduction and what is giving us the newer driver of nvidia so end of the day i think that this is going to fix a lot of cooler stuff for people that have been waiting to see what's going down for my amd community yes i am definitely doing the patch notes right behind us as we are recording this very cool video for nvidia to should i install this well it really depends on if you were inflicted by all those issues if so yeah install it toggle off on your um, hardware accelerator but you might have to wait for the next update to get more performance back it doesn't really matter if it's DirectX 11 or 12. It seems like it's kind of across the board. It's a little equal, uh, but you're a little bit more friendly with the DirectX 11. And now you can see where you can see 
ray tracing also comes down to a portion of favoring the older driver with the current Windows ecosystem. I know it gets so confusing, but for most people that want it to be a little less confusing, hit the subscription button. It's absolutely free. It helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe one day we will finally get down to this portion of cheap GPUs for everyone. And I hear it's coming. That's kind of the core thing. But you'll have to subscribe to find out because I'll be the first one to be like, yes, I finally got a freaking GPU for under MSRP or finally got one, located one. Yeah, that'd be crazy and awesome. It's a lot of distress as a creator and trying to keep up with current technology. And luckily my Radeon 7 is so cool and my you know, 2080 Ti that I do these tests and all the other graphics cards that I have throughout the, I guess, evolution of me becoming a creator. But everyone stay safe, stay classy, and I will see you guys and gals in the near future for some AMD patch notes. So stay tuned.